But first, the Anthropocene has started. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 shit. I saw that in the news. That's uh, cool. Yeah, it is I cool. Think it's cool. It's kind of it's kind of sc- scary in a way. So the Anthropocene is like uh, this period of geological history, right? Yeah. That represents the time in which humans have been influencing the geological record. The geological record. Yeah. So you split geological periods like time into different periods depending on various big changes. Um and we people have been arguing for a long time that humans are causing enough of a largely a fuck up of the planet yeah, yeah sure like <laughs> um, affecting climate long term and in a negative way yeah. causing huge loads of extinctions like etc yeah. etc um and these sorts of things will show up in the ge- geological record in many years yeah so things like cities like the concrete deposits from cities yeah. all the plastics, plastics um yeah various changes to the isotope composition of the atmosphere this will be recorded in you know rock weathering these types of things mm-hmm. ocean water chemistry yeah all that kind of stuff is is just almost purely by us well, yeah. well the anthropocene is us yeah so like you can look back across geological time think think back okay to all these like big periods in geological time mm. when you when you get things like the great oxidation event which was like the development of photosynthesis huge huge like increase in oxygen mm-hmm. levels in the atmosphere yeah like humans are that bigger ch- i mean we know i suppose it's sort of obvious but we are that bigger change which like, is crazy to think about when you get your head try and get your head around that like yeah it, it, it's an equivalent change to the surface of the earth that something like an event like the, like the evolution of photosynthesis was yeah and it might even prove to be a big a bigger like a, a more yeah. significant photosynthesis has got nothing on yeah, us yeah got nothing <laughs> we need it but yeah we do at the moment <laughs> maybe not forever <laughs> <laughs> we'd do without it you could, you could potentially manufacture a, an atmosphere yeah but when, once we're like you know super advanced civilization <laughs> we won't yeah. need any of that shit we just sort ourselves out in other ways I don't know meet yeah. all of our energy demands and 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 like synthesize everything if you've know. got fusion you can you could plausibly do a lot you, most things to keep yeah. keep civilization going to keep people alive but like, we don't want that like that would be bad if photosynthesis stopped because that would mean all plants died <laughs> yes that would suck um and we need plants for other reasons as well um, but i mean i so i think the anthropocene stuff is like the cool side of it to me um is that you could plausibly you could imagine like c- coming across what was essentially a planet like mars like a dead yeah. planet that that had like signatures of past like water or whatever yeah and if you if you start examining it and looking stratigraphically at it so looking at like the layers of like geology and stuff you yeah. might come across like uh like sections of that stratigraphy which are only explained by civilization building yeah things, which is so we're leaving that signature on the earth so even long after like we we've all blasted ourselves away through some like horrendous nuclear <laughs> war some like other alien civilization would be able to work out from the geological record that we were around well a- and potentially a a civilization that develops after us on earth y- yeah so if we die off and yes. then there's a period of time where which we go back to like basic multicellular po- possibly even just single-celled organisms that's and it re- redevelops over how long is the lifetime of the earth meant to last like from now till the sun ends which is like is that 12 billion years away or something like that I don't know can't remember can't remember um, I don't think so it's, I don't think it's that long it's not that long no I think it's more like maybe six. it's a total of 12 then yes or something like that yeah I think it's of that order for the for a star like the sun it's like 10 billion years uh, yeah in fact that is the rough lifetime of a star like the sun yeah it's about 10 billion years I think so we're about halfway through that nearly so, so, pr- so there's an easily enough time yeah, yeah. for a civil, another civilization. Especially, there's even enough time for like multiple, you know, for like a civilization to arise and then destroy itself, or be destroyed, and then another one to arise and then destroy itself. But depending on how much is destroyed in that extinction event. Yeah. So if course, you lose everything down to single celled organisms, mm. it's going to be a while till you get back to like multicellular. Well, life. how long did it take here? About five hundred million years. Well, yeah, from, well, yeah, 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 from, depends. Yeah, depends, depends where you measure it from. Um, it's so hard to predict these yeah. things. Yeah, and you don't know how. I mean, it might. You may not develop intelligent life again. Yeah. Like it might just be chance that it, it develops yeah. at this of course, of course. period of time. Um, but you'd think it was likely that mm. if we got wiped out now, and a good portion of the biosphere didn't get wiped out, yeah, um, that you would get another intelligent species before the sun destroyed the earth. You would think so, or the earth became uninhabitable. So the other question is like, what if we are the second? <laughs> well, <laughs> there are like dinosaur seas or something we, we just well, don't know about yet. We'd see it in the geological record. We though. would. There's nothing in the geological record that, that remotely resembles no, the Anthropocene. I know, I, know, I know. As far as we know, and obviously there's lots of the, about the geological record we don't know, but 
that would be a pretty like big and obvious thing yeah um, yeah it's a ridiculous suggestion we wouldn't know about it if it yeah. happened it would be like a really weird anomalous part of the record that is like what the christ is this yeah exactly um, yeah which is you know there's there's mysteries there obviously but nothing like that nothing of that scale yeah um yeah so i guess i guess we're just gonna sort of we're just now in a different geological era yeah and we're controlling anthropocene it. yeah and it's probably do you reckon it's gonna get more significant like that impact so that we're you know this is the these are the early days of basically the human influence on the planet and it's just going to get more so do you reckon we're going to end we're going to start becoming being less impactful as we develop ways of like you know lower emission vehicles and and being more aware of like the impact we're having we, we might end up being less impactful so you think um, it's going to like peak but in different ways so yeah it, it will peak in terms of possibly our alteration of the atmosphere our change of the oceans and stuff but in terms of like building structures I don't think that's gonna, that's that's gonna get worse, presumably. Surely, as the population grows. Yeah. And Although like just, the population will flatten out at some point, probably. Yeah, but not yet. But not yet. So I don't think it will peak. It's not peaked. No. Like I, there'll be a time when there's more structures built on Earth. Mm. Um, oh yeah. And so. When Earth looks like Coruscant. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want that though. No, we don't. Um, but there'll definitely be lot. You know, there's still a lot of expansion happening in, yeah, in developing sure, countries sure, sure. around the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah massively. So, like cities are growing at like a record rate all the time and yeah, yeah bloody blah um yeah so we will change it more but i i, I feel like we're starting to realize how much we're screwing it up that doesn't mean yeah. that we can sort like we, i mean we're not a lot in a lot of ways not stopping mm. um, and there might be something that we haven't like an um, like a, not an unpredictable but like an unforeseen event like for example the development of ai super intelligent ai oh of course they're yeah. just totally i mean that even could be arguably like a whole new geological that is that what the effects that like a like machine yeah. intelligence would have on the geological record might be different measurably different to yeah what i mean do. i mean that who knows that's still, that's still like speculative yeah i mean well that that's like even that change is is a bigger change than than developing intelligent like human life yeah potentially yeah potentially yeah um yeah to the point where like it's the difference between life and no life like there's a bigger there's a jump that's that mm. big mm. or even bigger <laughs> um yeah, i mean you could just cover the earth in machines or whatever so you know whatever yeah i mean it could totally change the geological yeah, record yeah. your imagination is sort of like the limit there. yeah you just can go mental. exactly exactly but um yeah it's cool the anthropocene's cool it's cool it's scary but cool um it has like possible bad connotations yeah. but it's interesting 